man, a group that we haven't heard in a long ass time. And I still remember my favorite thing that we heard by them. It was called Tyler Hadley, I believe. We've heard quite a few things by this group. They make, uh, they make murder music. But not just any murder music. They make music based on actual events, actual crimes. Mainly murder. Mainly death. So, Tyler Hadley, he was the, the kid that brutally murdered his grandparents because they wouldn't let him throw a party at their house. I think that was the gist of that with a hammer. Brutally murdered his grandparents with a hammer. True shit. Real story. Named Tyler Hadley. That's the kind of music they make. Uh, I think they made one about the Menendez brothers. I think they made one. They, they've made one. Oh, they made one about uh, what was the crazy bitch that uh, stabbed her husband a whole bunch of times. She worked for a meat processing plant. So she had the skills and the tools available to skin this fucker alive and hang his body up on the... What was her name, bro? She was such a crazy bitch. Hung his skin in the bathroom, and when the detectives walked in, they actually thought that it was a shower curtain. And then she decapitated him, cut off his body parts, and then cooked him and tried to serve his body to his children. Oh, crazy little bitch right there. I forget her name, though. I forget her name, though. They, they, they made a song about her, too. Ah. <sighs> But this one, this one's about Columbine. We all know about Columbine. To be completely honest, I don't remember the name of these two fucking turds, which is a good thing. We shouldn't really remember these fucking creatures at all. Ever. Victims should be remembered more than these goddamn turds. I saw everything about Columbine. Uh, I even saw the moment that uh, him and his buddy took their own lives on camera. It was wild. I think it's still on YouTube somewhere. Probably age restricted, so you'll actually have to have an account. I even saw footage of them going through the school, literally shooting kids. Shit was uh, just kind of wild. And it was 1999. I wasn't really old enough to... I was a kid, 1999, I was like 10 years old, so. But I do remember, I remember my parents being glued to the fucking TV watching this shit unfold. And then two years later, same thing, when the towers fell. And then Waco, and then tragedy after tragedy after tragedy, it's fucking crazy. It's actually, it's actually crazy and mind-boggling just how much footage, real footage, exists of this. Bro, this was 1999. Uh, the world wasn't as monitored as it is now. You got CCTV everywhere. You got cell phones everywhere. You got uh, cameras in literally every corner of every building, of every block, of every city, of every town. It's a... Uh, it's kind of it's it's kind of crazy just how much footage footage exists and I've seen all the footage of Columbine. I've seen everything. I've literally seen them going through the school, shooting kids. I I literally saw kids drop. I saw the explosive that they tried to set off in the cafeteria which failed. Um and then I saw them take their own lives. It's crazy how much footage of this actually exists.
I guess homegirl's getting cheated on. I remember I think it was like over 15 And that's the thing, man. These kids, they had no one in mind either. Dude, I saw, I saw, I, I saw, I saw footage. These, these, these kids were fucking sick, bro. They, they were sadistic as hell. I saw footage where this kid was literally begging for his life. And they were like, yeah, you can leave. Go ahead, leave. And as he was running away, they shot him in the back. I was just like, good Lord. It was indiscriminate as fuck. They had no targets. The school was the target. They, they weren't targeting anybody specific. It wasn't jocks they were targeting. It wasn't the nerds. It wasn't the goth kids. It wasn't the band. Uh, no, they were targeting just life, really. It was, it was, uh, it was wild, man. I don't remember them having a Uzi. I think it was AR-15s. Maybe they had a shotgun, but... They had quite a few weapons, though, so they probably could have had a Uzi. I, I just didn't see a Uzi in any of their hands. I just saw rifles. They were real-life terrorizers. Sad part about these kids is this is the most fun they ever had in their entire life was doing this fucking madness. Yeah, it probably is. Scorpion, Uzi, I only saw it for a brief second. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, looks like that. My bad. But yeah, I don't remember I don't remember this weapon from the from the actual shooting. I, it, it was it was rifles that I saw in their hands. Uh, AR-15s, military, I don't know how they got these weapons, but back in 1999, it was probably very easy to get these weapons. A lot, e lot easier than it is now. So uh, I, I, all I saw was rifles. Maybe they had a shotgun. That's why they had those big ass trench coats. Bro, they were, they, were, they were ready for war, really. They actually could have fought off the police for a hot minute if they wanted to, given all the ammunition that they had and just the caliber of weapons that they had. But instead, they just took the easy way out. I don't remember them sparing anybody either from all the footage that I saw. Kind of conflicted here bro because i want to bob my head because like the music you know 
I love Skins music. I love the beats that they produce and stuff like that and just like the vocals and just like the overall vibe, but it's kind of hard because it's watching kids die, you know? It's like a little bit of conflict going on in my brain. <laughs> Yeah. Good thing they didn't focus, uh... Video was good. They didn't focus too much on... Damn, I didn't even realize this was five and a half minutes. This kind of, like, just blew by. I'm glad they didn't focus too much on the shooters. They don't really deserve much recognition. And I think this is, like... I think this is pretty much what started it, bro. Really. Prior to Columbine... What, what major event, aside from the Oklahoma City bombings, which happened prior to Columbine, but something of this effect when it comes to school shootings, prior to Columbine, I can't really recall any. Then again, I was just a kid, but I think Columbine is pretty much what set it off, bro. The media coverage of this was absolutely disgusting. They made these kids into fucking celebrities. They, these, they, their faces were plastered everywhere on the news time magazine like just everywhere bro everywhere and i think this pretty much kicked off the trend of hey i'm gonna do something absolutely horrible and i'm gonna be fucking famous as shit people are gonna remember me they're gonna know my name and we've seen it play out over and over and over again throughout the course of time have you guys noticed how like Mass shootings, the numbers go up more and more and more and more. Columbine, it wasn't that many. I think it was like 15 kids, maybe. I'm just guessing here. But it, it was a relatively no low number compared to the shooting that happened in Vegas a couple of years ago. Uh, that shooting was like 56 fucking people, between 40 and 50. And it's almost to the point now where like these, these mass murderers, these mass shooters or competing with the previous one. Now I'm going to go out here and try to kill more people than that guy did. If I do, I'm king. If I do, I'm God. If I do, I'm the bee's knees. If I do, I get more coverage. I get more media coverage, right? Shit like that. It's almost like these dudes are trying to, they're trying to one up each other with their acts of violence. It has nothing to do with guns, man. You, you can kill a whole bunch of fucking people with a goddamn minivan. We've seen that too. So, this is wild. I think uh, it's uh, fucking media risking a death sentence for some clout. That's why they killed themselves. They knew that was the case. They were of sound mind, bro. They weren't crazy. They were perfectly in their mind. They were. Very, very calculated. Very, very, like the premeditation for that was absolutely crazy they even trained for this bro i've seen many documentaries on columbine they even trained for this they, they used to go out into the middle of nowhere and shoot cans bottles explosives and they learned how to make ieds they learned how to make improvised explosive device like they learned how to do everything on their own and uh very very premeditated and very very calculating so yeah had they seen a courtroom that's exactly what they had been that's exactly what they would have gotten was a death sentence uh, they would have been some of, I don't want to say, well, I might be speaking out the ass here, but they probably would have been the youngest motherfuckers to get a death sentence. We've seen, we've seen young kids get life before, but rarely a death sentence. They would have been one of the youngest to receive the death penalty. If teachers had guns, I mean, it would, it would only need to be a pistol. Really. It would only need to be a pistol for... And I agree, man. Yeah, I feel like I feel like at the very least, not all the teachers, man, not all of them. At the very least, one to two designated educators inside the building need to have a firearm. And that firearm, in my opinion, should be something like a handgun, at most a shotgun. 
The teachers don't need to have rifles. The teachers don't need to have AKs. The teachers don't need to have anything that crazy. Because in the moment that you need to take down a shooter, the last thing you want is that is that round, that bullet, going through the shooter, striking another kid. Going through a wall, striking somebody else. Bullets don't have eyes. They don't. So, and they don't discriminate. Uh, so, you train these fucking teachers, the one to two that are inside, that are inside the building, that in the case of anything like this, they get activated at the drop of a hat at a moment's notice, right? So... I uh, I thoroughly I thoroughly believe that that should be the case, but then you have all these fuckers out here that are just like, no, teachers don't need guns because we don't need the schools to be like prisons. Interesting. You don't want to protect children with guns, but it's okay to protect your money with guns. What do you see at what What, what do you see at a lot of banks? You see a security guard, right? What does that security guard have? A gun, right? Politicians go anywhere, what do they have? They have a person sitting right next to them with a gun. But when it comes to the children, you don't want to use the same methods to protect your money and our fucking political leaders? That doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't jive, like, at all, in the slightest. So...